Microsoft Edge, Copilot, all of these things that slow down your Windows PC. How can we get rid of them? Let me show you. Okay, we are back and this is a follow-up to the last video where we installed Windows 11, 24H2 here. This is a, a normal version. This is my setup and we have 24H2. This is unsupported hardware. I forgot to mention in the previous video that there is no recall because that's only on supported devices that have that chip so there is no recall so what I wanted to do is just this is just gonna be real quick I hope what we're gonna do is just make Windows 11 a little better with a few commands to make it hopefully not use as much memory make it a little more familiar so I wanted to show you what I do, let's start here. Now this may not apply to Windows 11 anymore, but I used to do this to every Windows 10 system. So what you do is you type in services and you open the services panel and you go here to sysmain. Now I don't remember the actual function of this. It used to be called prefetch back in Windows 7 and 10. They changed it to sysmain. And what it used to do is it tries to predict what you're going to look for file-wise. So it's, it's sort of scanning your computer and trying to make sure that you have access to the files that you normally click on frequently so that when you do click on it, it opens faster. So if you've ever had an old computer and the hard drive was always going 100%, that's what this function was. So I always turn that off because I want, I want myself to decide when I'm gonna open something. I don't want them to predict this. Now, I mean, these days the computers are so fast, especially with SSDs. I don't think this is a thing anymore, but that's just something that I came up with. So if you have a really old computer and you're trying to run Windows, whether it's 10 or 11, you should definitely disable sysmain. And that doesn't really help with the memory, but it helps with the hard drive activity. So it's not constantly trying to find files that you're maybe going to look for. And then, so the big thing that people do is uninstall Co Copilot, which I already did, so that's gone. And then we're gonna go here to privacy and security. Now in my case, where is it? I had already disabled the send optional diagnostic data to Microsoft. But as you can see, it says you're sending required diagnostic data. So what you can do is you can turn this off to where you're not sending any data at all. So let me show you how to do that. So what you do is you type in regedit, you click on that, which I already did, and it's here. And then you're gonna to go to H key local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, data collection. We need a new D word, right? No, not that. Okay, you can do it. Data collection, new D word. So it's gonna be allow telemetry and then the value would be zero 
Now, if this was one, it would allow telemetry. And if you're wondering what telemetry is, that is this. I did, I've never heard of telemetry. I don't even know what that is, but apparently telemetry is what you send the information that you're sending out to Microsoft as you're using the computer. Doesn't sound weird, like the right thing, but okay. So we'll put that as zero, close this. Now, I don't know if we have to reboot or not. We probably should. So, but let's just check here. Settings, privacy and security, diagnostics and feedback. It says your, your organization prevents sending diagnostic data to Microsoft. So that's what we wanted. So now there's no information going out as far as we know. But you can also delete data, okay. Last delete request. Clear diagnostic data that Microsoft has collected about this device. Okay, and then you can, if you want, I think, let's see. I personally like now having the start menu in the middle. It's closer to where I'm at, you know, when you're doing this, it's easier just to go down here than to go all the way over here. But people still like to have it on the left side, I guess, because I don't know, people just like that. So I think there is an option for that. Where is it? Widgets, search box, search icon only, make that smaller. Taskbar behavior alignment. Left. So there. Now, do you feel better that it's over here now? <laughs> I don't know why people care so much. I, I personally like it in the center. Now I have to go all the way over here. But I mean, that's easy. You can change it to whatever you want. Everything's going to be in the center at some point. So you just kind of have to get over it. Um, I also went to startup apps and we turn off everything here so that when you boot up the computer, none of these programs are starting, hopefully. And you can also uninstall Office if you don't have it. I have Office, so I don't mind leaving it there. I don't use it, but anyway, that's just a, a quick way to get everything updated. But here's the thing that really bugs me. Okay. This, this irritates me to no degree. I don't mind Windows 11. It's, it's fine. But no matter what you do, Edge is always running. If you close it, it's running. If you end the task somehow or another, it comes back. So I want to try this. I tried to uninstall it before and that did not work, but I found this link right here just in a quick search. So let's see if we can disable Edge completely. So it says go to C. I don't know if this works or not. Let's go to this PC. Windows system. Um, wait, Windows system apps. Is that a hidden folder? Let's try that. No. Navigate to C. I have to do this. No. I think they didn't type it in right. Let's try this. C Windows. 
system apps. That's what we did, right? No. Shoot. How to disable edge. There has to be a way. System edge. Okay. Let's find this folder. Doesn't exist. So where is Edge? Rename the folder anything you wish. Hmm. Removing Edge is ter settings, default apps, change the default browser to something else. No. See Windows system apps. Okay, let's try that. That was my original theory was to, oh, there it is, system apps. Why did they say, okay. My original theory to get rid of Edge was to just remove the file that, you know, the executable or the folder or something. So we're going to end the task. And then we're going to go here to Microsoft Edge 8. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Rename the folder. That's what I thought. Rename the folder to Microsoft Edge old. Okay. So Microsoft Edge. Where is it? Uh, UI Windows. There's not one called that. Microsoft Edge. There's a client. Let's try and find this. Uh, doesn't exist. Okay. Well, let's rename this anyway. So let's rename this to rename to dot old. Okay. Hmm. It should be here, right? Edge, Windows, Edge. See, every time I want to make a quick video, it's not quick. <laughs> right? This is probably, oh, this is old, that's why. Okay. Disable Microsoft Edge Windows 11. The thing is, I, I don't have a problem with Edge. I just don't want it running all the time. Settings, default apps, switch anyway, default apps, default. I mean, I already switched my default browser, right? It's, let me start your computer. Let's just make sure, settings, apps, default apps. Change this to what? Notepad. <laughs> notepad. Let's make them all notepad. Notepad. Now we'll see because when I reboot Chrome. Chrome. Every time I re would reboot, the um, the edge would be already FTP links. 
Microsoft Edge. It's, it's, you can't really turn it off. Um, when you when I would reboot into Windows, and and don't do anything, and I open the processes, the edge is there. It's already running. So let's see. Let's try it. We'll end this video here, and then I'll reboot, and then I won't touch anything, and then I will see if Edge is running. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back from reboot, and let's check Task Manager. So there is no Edge. I don't think it's from what I did. I think it's because what other people said to do is change all the defaults to Chrome and then Edge won't start, but not sure. Anyway, it's not here anymore, so that's good. I'm curious though, what happens if I try to launch it? Will it still launch? Yeah. So it's not gone. Search. See, and then when I close it, it's still there. GPU process. So you just have to manually close it, I guess. I don't know. I'll have to figure out a way to... Oh, widgets. Why is widgets? Close that. Oh, this is annoying. Four gigs of memory still. Anyway, the main thing was the diagnostic data, the sysmain. Putting this on the left if you want. The rest, I don't know. That's... Why is this... Stop. Okay. So if you have any other tips for me, on how to make Windows 11 faster or lighter using the retail version, let me know. We'll see you soon.